Hey there, it's E Squared Photography. I'm Erin. And I'm Emily, and we are here to keep things simple and fun. Are you a beginner photographer looking for what you need to start out? Well, we're here to tell you exactly what we use as we started out our photography business. And make sure to stay tuned all the way till the end because we have something for you. And for the best photography tips and tricks, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell for notifications for future videos. We're gonna jump right in and explain what we started with being the camera. So the camera that we first started with was a Nikon D3200, and now we both shoot with a Nikon D750. And we want you guys to know that the Nikon D3200, if you're looking for a Nikon, is just fine for beginners. We hung on to that for quite some time before we transitioned to the, D, the D750. And if you're just starting out and you're looking for one lens to buy, the lens we're gonna recommend for you because we use it for families, we use it for seniors, we use it for our weddings, we use it for almost everything, is the 50 millimeter lens. We have a Nikon 50 millimeter. You would not need to have a Nikon. And just so you know, everything we're talking about right now is in the description below, links to it, things that we have. Um, now, looking at the Nikon um, 50 millimeter versus the 85, we use the 50 more. If you wanna buy two lenses, you could buy an 85. I don't think you need both. The 85 is one of our favorites as well though. So again, our 50 is our favorite by far. If you're just starting out, we recommend your 50. If you're looking for other lenses, we, buy, we definitely think that you're fine with just the 50 starting out. However, we also have a 70 to 300 millimeter zoom lens that we use a lot of times at our weddings. Um, we've used it at other sessions as well, but it was more for our weddings. Another lens that we have, again, we use it mainly at weddings, is our 100 millimeter macro lens. Again, if you're just starting out, your 50 millimeter is going to do the trick. So don't overwhelm yourself with equipment right away. And the macro lens we used for detailed shots, ring shots at the wedding. So that is definitely not one you absolutely need right now. Because we went, we went and did weddings for a long time without it. Always, always, always have at least one backup battery to your camera. So make sure to check that out and get one of those. Another thing is always have extra SD cards on hand. This is the exact SD card that we use. Again, it's in the description below. Um, we love it. We haven't had any issues with it. And also an SD card carrier is super nice as well, just to keep all of those cards safe. So as SD cards are extremely important, so is the computer and the hard drive that you load those images onto. So we personally use a MacBook. Again, not necessary, but that's the only experience that we've had with um, photography. And um, also a hard drive, extremely important to back those images up. A reflector is something we purchase pretty quickly because we've noticed that it saves a lot of time editing because it gets, gets some extra light on your subject. Um, so again, the description below, you'll find which one we use. And if you wanna know about anything that we've talked in this video about or reflectors or whatever it might be, make sure to comment below so we know to make more videos just for you. And another thing we purchased pretty darn quickly was something called an Expo Disc. This is something that corrects white balance and also saves a lot of time editing. And you are in luck because we have two videos actually about Expo Desk, so make sure to check both of those out. As you are just starting out a photography business or just photography in general, we recommend that you have a camera bag. Obviously, we really like the backpacks. It's easier to be mobile with those. And then our go-to fanny pack that we bring to all of our sessions to house our phones, our keys, a snack maybe. Our lens cap. Our lens cap, our expo disc sometimes. Um, just anything extra that we need. Plus, you look really cool with a fanny pack. Very cool. We always like to have at least two clear umbrellas like the one shown here on hand, especially at weddings because then we give those and we can do cute shots with the bride and groom if it starts to rain. And then we also have an umbrella for ourselves. And in the winter time, because we live in Wisconsin, we bring our hand warmers. 
We also always, always, always bring a step ladder to our session. We just bought a little portal one off of Amazon or wherever we got it from, $10 probably max. And we use this so we can get up to the height or even further than the height of our client. Um, and sometimes we even use it to have the client sit down on within a field or something like that. So there's lots of different uses for this. If they have new shoes to put on, they can sit and put their shoes on there as well. A changing tent. This has been a lifesaver for us for our senior sessions specifically because they generally change outfits a few times throughout the session. So we pop this up and they can change right in there rather than changing in their car. We hope this was helpful for you and now you have some ideas of things that you might need to start off your photography business. Make sure down below you click on our freebie to find more about how you can potentially fix blurry images because that is the number one question we get asked is why are my images blurry? What can I do? So check out that freebie below. And again, make sure to comment below if there's anything you want more videos on. We would love to know so we can make those for you. If you like this video, make sure to hit subscribe, share with a friend so we know to make more videos just like this one. And if you don't already, make sure to follow us on our Instagram page at esquared.photography for more videos. We post a lot of bonus videos there, so make sure to check us out. And we will see you next time.